During the past 20 years, the popularity of Irish medium education has steadily grown throughout Ireland. Today, approximately 42,000 children attend Gael Skullna and the sector continues to grow year on year. Since its inception, Irish medium education has been very successful, both in developing multilingualism and in delivering high academic achievement. Indeed, it is its educational success that has helped fuel the rapid growth that has occurred within the sector. Within Ireland, most of the growth in Irish medium education has taken place over the last 20 years. In the Republic, there are a total of 38,000 children in Irish medium education, with 139 Irish medium primary schools and 36 secondary schools. The growth in the sector at primary level has quickly been followed by a growth in secondary provision with one secondary school for every four primary schools. Within the North, there are over 4,000 children attending Irish medium education, with 34 Irish medium Gael Skolna and only three secondary level Gael Collistia. This demonstrates a major disparity in secondary level provision with over 11 primaries for each secondary level school. There are also many areas within the North, including County Derry, with no formal secondary level Irish medium provision. This disparity results in a much lower transfer of Gales Gall pupils to Irish medium secondary level, with only 40% of children within the North transferring compared to 86% in the Republic. There is a real need to redress the disparity and to provide the option for high quality Irish medium secondary education to all those transferring from the primary sector. There is also a recognition within the Department of Education that the Irish medium secondary sector requires significant investment over the coming years. College of First Year pioneered the provision of Irish medium secondary education and today is the only full immersion secondary level school within the North. Manskull First Year opened its doors in 1991 with nine pupils and two teachers. In 1992 a further 15 pupils enrolled and in the following year the intake again increased to 32. The school was funded by voluntary effort for a total of five years until it secured core departmental funding in 1997. Originally the school was located in very cramped conditions upstairs within the Coulterlawn on the Falls Road, but in 1997 the school transferred to its current site at Beachmount. Today College of First Year delivers a full range of GCSE and A-level subjects and with a total of 550 pupils, is the largest Gale College in Ireland. The school is open to children of all abilities and with the exception of English, teaches all subjects through the medium of Irish. The school prides itself in being pupil centred and has its own learning support centre, which focuses upon the particular needs of every pupil. The centre aims to help all pupils to fulfil their potential and has an excellent track record in identifying and addressing special educational needs of pupils, as well as facilitating academically gifted pupils to excel. The Learning Support Centre has been so successful that it is now being replicated in a number of English medium secondary schools within the Belfast Board. The school offers an excellent educational experience with a strong Irish language ethos which inspires young people to believe in themselves as young Gales and to achieve accordingly. While parents will want their children to develop an appreciation of the richness of the Irish language and culture, the primary importance to parents is the quality of education. In this respect, College to First Year delivers an excellent education and is in the top 5% of all ability schools in the North. Okay. So, Okay. 
College to First just stretches and challenges academically gifted pupils to achieve A-star grades in a range of subjects from maths, physics and languages to drama, art and sports studies. The school also supports pupils with particular difficulties to achieve beyond their expected potential and helps over 80% of pupils continue on to sixth form. The exam results of the school demonstrate just how successful this approach has been in delivering results for its pupils. When compared against other all-ability secondary schools, the results are impressive. Almost 80% of College to First Year's pupils achieve at least 5 GCSE grades A to C, compared with the NI average which is just below 60%. Within its A-level stream, the results are even more impressive, with almost 95% of pupils securing at least two A-level grades, A to E, compared to the NI average of 53%. The school puts this down to its pupil-centred approach, which identifies and addresses the needs of all of its pupils. The academic achievements of the school are all the more impressive when you consider that it is located in one of the most economically deprived inner city areas of Belfast. Since its inception two decades ago, College of First Year has developed a massive body of expertise in Irish medium secondary education and is excellently placed to help develop the secondary sector over the coming decades. College of First Year is prepared to provide this expertise to help support the development of Irish medium secondary education in County Derry. A detailed feasibility and logistics study has been carried out into how precisely this could be delivered and this has been produced for parents to consider. It is proposed to develop a satellite school to College to First Year that would be located at Mahara within the former high school that is now vacant and this would serve the Gael Skullna at Mahara, Balna Screen, Mahra Felt, Dungiven and Limavadi. As College to Glan Hyain, the school would have a local identity and would at the same time have the benefit of the support of College to First Year as its mother school. It is proposed that pupils will be taught on the Mahara site for four days a week. They would travel to College of First Year in Belfast one day per week to participate in sports and technical subjects and to avail of the social benefits of being part of a larger school community. At GCSE level, the pupils will be able to choose from the full range of subjects. The majority of classes at GCSE would be delivered on the Mahara site by specialist teachers. This would again be supplemented by visiting the Belfast campus one day per week for some specialist subjects and indeed by joining classes on the Belfast campus by video conferencing using a high speed dedicated internet link. It is also proposed that the pupils would have access to the latest resources online within a virtual learning environment. To assist this, all pupils entering the school will be provided with a laptop computer and access to a library of resources to supplement the learning within the classroom. This learning environment, together with online video conference classes, means that the Irish medium sector will be leading the way in implementing the latest internationally proven models of good practice in information technology and virtual learning. True to the ethos of College to First Year, College to Glan Hyain would be totally pupil-centred and pupils would benefit from the established educational support centre that has been so successful for College to First Year. The low teacher-pupil ratio, together with the support of a special educational needs coordinator based in College of First Year, would help pupils' particular needs be catered for. A costed proposal for the development of College de Glan Hyain at the former high school in Mahara has been funded by the Department of Education and produced by a dedicated working group. If parents support this proposal, it will be advanced immediately as a development proposal to the Department of Education. If accepted by the department, College of Glan Hyain could be open for Year 8 pupils in September 2012. The opening of College de Glan Hyain would mark one of the most important developments in the Irish medium sector in the last 20 years and would provide an excellent education for a new generation of Irish speakers within County Derry. We hope that parents will support this exciting proposal.